This will be a quick look at how to use loops and variables to tile a shape to create a design in code blocks. You can see the links at the end and below for similar code blocks tutorials. Okay, I'm going to create a design on a rectangle that is 120 millimeters wide, 80 millimeters long, and 4 high. Remember that shapes appear centered at coordinates x, y, z at 0, 0, 0. And because that z is 0, that means shapes are halfway under the work plane. To move a shape to sit on the work plane, use a move block and move z in a positive direction by half of the object's height, which in this case would mean I would move it up by 2. When I add objects to the design, I want to make sure they are also on or above the work plane. If you're tiling holes to cut into the design, then you don't need to bother with that. The first thing to do is to decide what shape you want tiled, which will mean changing the shape block's own attributes and possibly also playing with rotate and or scale blocks to get an effect you like. When rotating, keep in mind which axis you're rotating your shape around. And you can see my video on rotation in code blocks for more. When I have the shape I want to work with, I'll move it to the upper left of my rectangle, which means move it in a positive y axis direction and a negative x axis. And I can experiment to find the spot that I like. I know I'll want to repeat this action, so I'll grab a repeat loop and put the blocks inside. Tiling this shape means that the X and Y locations will change. They'll vary. And now I'm ready to use a couple of variables to make changing the X and Y coordinates easy. I can call them anything I want, but I'll pick descriptive names. In this case, I experimented and I found that I want X to be negative 52 and Y to be 30. So I'll set those values and I'll put variable ovals that have been created in the X and Y coordinate spots. I want first to tile my shape across this top row. That means the X coordinate value will get a little bigger each time we go through the loop, but the Y coordinate value will stay the same. I can play with different X values in the change block and also the numbers of loop repetitions to get it distributed across the way I want. After every row, I want to set my X coordinate back to negative 52 to restart at the same X spot. But for every new row, I want my Y coordinate to change by decreasing more and more. I'll use a second repeat loop to do that. And again, I'll have to play with the Y coordinate value to see how much I want to move it. If you're tiling holes, don't forget to use a group block at the end. There's one method of tiling shapes in different designs.